Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, how exciting. So this video uh, got sent to me and it's been requested quite a few times of Sarah Jeronimo, Clarice, and also baby Morissette. Yeah. She looks tiny here. Um, <laughs> but what is interesting is not only the jamming, because this was obviously in the Philippines the Voice mm-hmm. season one, um, but also that Clarice went ahead to be coached by Sarah because they actually competed in the same competitions when they were juniors. <gasps> and God. Sarah ended up winning. Oh my God, And Clarice okay. kind of so revealed... each other. Sarah didn't recognize her because they were kids. Of course. So these years passed and then Clarice kind of... In the, you know in the audition we watched? Mm-hmm. The bit that was in Tagalog, that obviously we don't understand. <laughs> that's what she would she was saying. It's like oh. she revealed her identity. It was like, hi. And it's like, dude, it's like we used to sing in the same competitions and stuff. And you always kicked my ass. <laughs> and, uh, and it's like, you know, yeah, she would like to be coached. I would like to be coached by you. Aww, what a nice. full circle moment that would have been. That is. That is so, a great circle. A bit rough on bamboo. Again, yeah. I want to see somebody that I want to see an audition where he actually gets somebody he likes. <laughs> he does. But I Carlos, Zach Tabudlo. Yeah, but okay, fair enough. But like, <laughs> no, 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 but a new one, like from season one. Ah, I don't know. Apparently, that was a really controversial season as well oh. for Zara. Oh, why? And just the judges, because I think I don't know, because you kind of you can't you can't choose everyone, can you? Of course not. So then there were moments where it's a bit of tension. I think it was playful, but it was tension. Like, mm. ah, you prick, you took my person. It's like that's my person. Anyways, but fight. This, this is them <laughs> singing together live. I think it's in a studio. I don't know where it is, it's but like, it's, it looks like a radio station. But these are the moments that we enjoy the most because they're the most yeah. raw, live, and it's enjoyable. So yeah. There's no way of cheating this type of environment. Not that cheating happens in the Philippines. No, the no, only no. country at the moment where I can say... It's very organic, yeah. When it comes to vocals, yeah. Clarice is focused. Girl. Like diamonds in the sky. Okay, no, Clarice, girl, what the actual guacamole this song was made for you. That is so great. So much personality in literally two phrases. Is Love it, that. It's interesting to see like what you really like, right? Because I, I, I would think this song would be sung like the way Morissette sang it. Really? Yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. I well, Morissette is outstanding. We already know that. No, but, but so interesting. I mean, just in sort of in like personality. Likings. In yeah. personality wise, I feel like Clarice developed, like understood the assignment. Who you sang know? this? Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? So th- I think like yeah, this is this is vibey. You know, I can only think Rihanna, and I think anti. I don't think. I no longer think. <laughs> Anything before, <laughs> Anything before that. Anything before that doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my I god! I literally I just found out I, that I... all her previous albums had songs. <laughs> <laughs> more, I mean, more, I mean more, <laughs> I mean more songs than the songs that that you knew. <laughs> yeah, like King King of My Bed or something. What is it? California King Bed. California King Bed. I didn't know that album had songs. <laughs> yeah, I it's thought a it was like album. a single release. <laughs> no, that 2010 album is. Absolutely stunning. Anyways, are you a Rihanna fan? I am. Yes. Yeah, Balesk is a huge. Well, Lucha is a big I Rihanna fan. I loved everything. Mother just gave us a not really. I loved everything from where she first started, the island girl like sound, it. to anti, everything in between. Love I like that it, woman. I became a fan in anti. But because you were a that really hardcore was fan. So good though. But it was it was a bit Still too banks. too too poppy for me. But anti was exactly what i like yeah yeah yeah. Genius the album one. banks i just can't wait for the day that she decides to she, make more music she likes to make money instead so. <laughs> and there's no problem with that no she's smart <laughs> <laughs> she's smarter than all of us she indeed <laughs> Tonight, you and I were beautiful like 
diamonds in the sky and two are so alive nice It's fucking awesome to see them figure it out. I love that. I love that. You see, this is the type of environments that, and videos that I find they're like, no pun intended, but they're gems. And they really are. Where the hell is a pun? I was going to say diamond, but I changed my mind. Oh. Yeah. Well done, well done. Thank you. That was a bit too much. Too much, I know. Okay. Thank you. (laughs) Pearls. Yeah, but there there are rarity though, especially in this. There was a caca, you know. What? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what's a traditional uh, sauce. sauce in Venezuela? It's rather rare when you're out of Venezuela. It's like a gem. <laughs> oh my god, this one on earth. Okay, back to my analogy. Yeah. I was just saying that these are moments that are so uh, nice to see because uh, in this world, in this industry where everything's filtered, everything is, uh, you know, prepared. It's perfect. And, and it's tailor made and everything's perfectly cut and perfectly produced and all these things are just everything's perfect but perfection is stagnant you never get to see growth with perfection you like that sentence don't you? but it's true yeah. like somebody recently sparked it to me and i was like oh look at that that is so accurate it that's exactly a, what it, it is a priest who said that. <laughs> it's a reverend actually reverend. uh and it, it is it's true and i i like that i like that concept because you can never see growth from that and in this case you're seeing you're seeing their brains work. You're seeing their dynamics change. There is a completely different environment. There's people guiding you where to go. There's there there is a, an unsteady feel to it all. There is an uneasiness because they're not settled in the piece. They probably practiced it twice before they got to sing it. Yep. Uh, and there's a whole backing vocalist section of it, and somebody's playing the guitar. So everything is very human. Yeah, everything it's messy, is messy, you know. It, there's ups and downs. It's trying to figure it out. It's a puzzle. And it's it's so vulnerable. It's such a vulnerable experience to see them figure it out. It's. I mean, I don't know how they would feel if you know you're sort of reviewing this. It's it's an um, it's an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, but I the reason why I Most decided definitely. to it's because. You know, like this whole era of like Instagram and but TikTok and, and YouTube and all this stuff where everything is perfect. And like, you know, pictures are perfect. And people don't realize like those pictures have not only been pre-selected by like hundreds that you took, right? Because you, you do it as well. And then they've always been refined. And then if they, you get to famous people, they've been retouched yeah. and fucking, you know, made to perfection. Because if not, the media's going to eat them alive. That's right. Uh, and also they want to seem perfect to some extent as well. And it's the same with voices now. It's the same with videos. It's the same with... So everything is like this illusion mm-hmm. that there are no moments of... Unsteadiness and, 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 and uneasiness and trying to figure things out like we're seeing it now. Yeah, and sort of figuring out the puzzle. Yeah. Um, and those are the moments that when you're a kid and when you're young and when you're maybe... Even if you're old and you're trying to figure shit out as a musician, still, it doesn't matter. Uh, those are the moments which give you encouragement. Not the moments where you see her hit a fucking F7 and then first take. And it's like, yeah, dog, no. That's There's not... hours of practice and years of tailoring into that. Yeah, sorry to maybe tear down the fairy tale, but they're not true. Mm-hmm. You know, there's plenty of sweat and tears and, and not maybe not blood, but lots of uncomfort and, and you know, weird moments like this ones. Mm. But the cool thing is like there's at the end... There's a lot of failure before you get to that. The cool thing in this video is because I saw the last bit. They, it, that's the interesting part. They figure it out in a space of five minutes. And you're like, oh shit. That's impressive. That's inspiring. That's why it's worth watching. Yeah. And uh, it's so, just, just real, dude. It's, like... it's true. And I thank you all for, you know, bringing up these videos. Because they, they're the ones I find are the ones that spark inspiration back in me. That And I hope they do in you too. Um, yeah, it, it, these are really special moments. Say it again. For I sure. think the Filipino industry, when it comes to vocals, they got it right. Mm. Send me, set, don't sell me dreams. 
<laughs> yeah, they sell me sell me reality. They and, sell me human, and they've really done that. And then there are normalities within them, and there's also you know the spectacle because some of these guys are really this good, but mm-hmm. then I can I strive to to something you know that's actually real and it's not fake. You know? Yeah, it's yeah that's Filipino true. Filipino TV got that correct, dude. <laughs> I and agree. I think it's, it's and dude, we listen to music from all over all different countries, and I think they're probably the. The best study in terms of like voices, mm-hmm. but it's also the most exposing. I've exposing. exposing. I find it a bit <laughs> yeah. scary in there, like. Yeah, Jesus. yeah, yeah. It's a little exposing. I love her voice. Directing is, I'm so intrigued. intrigued. I wish like I could see her face. Yes, that's really nice. Okay, because it seems it. Morris and the and the she's harmonizing up top. Yeah, I think she's trying to figure it out. I don't know if she, if 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 she if the director's telling her to go octave up or a third or fifth up. That's what I think she's confused with. Right. Because it, it, and it, Sarah seem to be more... No, Sarah's singing the tune, right? So she's doing her own thing. And then you have Clarice. She's really stable on that and that uh, fifth underneath. But uh, you're one... Like, I think what's happening with Morissette is like she doesn't know whether to go a third or a, third or a fifth up or actually go to, uh, up to the octave. So it's uh, an interesting one. Because I can't really hear it. Right now I'm hearing t- the tune. <laughs> See, she's singing the tune. I love that! This is good! Type of videos, they're so special. Cable issues, trying to figure. I love it. <laughs> oh, and she's great. The director is great, though. This is great. I adore this! And I think this is all in preparation. Of a live performance. Of the voice. Yeah. So at this point, arguably the most popular show on TV. Indeed. Yeah, I I would love to know her name and what she's doing here. Yes, yes, yes! You get to see all the backing vocalists. And look at the program in the back, I love that. Hi friend, goodbye. Oh man, that's proper rehearsal material, that is. I thought it was a radio, but this is actually a rehearsal, rehearsal yeah. for. Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, I love it. He gives me like, yes, you're in. You're putting in work. Nice. Cool, I love it. This, I'm so into this. 
I'm so I'm so into it. <laughs> I'm like I'm in the room with them. <laughs> I, I would be. I'm in the room. I, I would be in the kit just sitting down like this. I'm like, okay, when is this just, next? Just <laughs> okay. When are we playing? <laughs> when do I come in? <laughs> to be fair though, when I when this happens, especially when I was a kid and this happens, you know, mm. like because that's what I mean. That's the bit I've seen. Mm-hmm. Where you, now you're kind of seeing them really figure out, put the pieces together. Yeah. I wish we could have gotten more in the end where you see them actually do it again. I know. Make um, another round. But when when I'm sort of when I'm a percussionist or maybe even musicians on the, on the other side, where just, if unless you're the pianist, bassist or guitarist, this is also just a stance for you here mm-hmm. because you want to understand. You're part of the harmonics. So you're working together. But percussion isn't really. So you're just sort of like chilling there. You sit there and you watch them work. Yeah, you just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> and you also feel like you're a singer as well. You're like, oh, I wouldn't do it like <laughs> shine bright like a diamond. You know, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> that it reminds me so much. You know, as a kid, and I was like that, like listening to you guys. I am. This is that's literally my environment. It's like a bit. I like love a, that. It's like ten seconds left. Okay, let's watch the ten seconds. I want to know her name. All right. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Yes. Fantastic footage. Again. This is Baleska's favorite stuff. It is because it it reminds you that to get to a great performance, there's a lot of failure. There's a lot of figuring it out. The there's a lot of most people don't see. Yeah, there's a lot of putting in mental and, and and mental work as much as it is physical. And these are the moments that feel uncomfortable. These are the moments that shape the artist. And. These are also the moments that you never get to see, which is which is why I adore it because awesome. it, it 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 brings up a completely different light on your perspective of your favorite idols and and artists. You see them human, you see them vulnerable, you see them grow, oh, it's, it's and like... then when you see them on stage, you get to appreciate ten times more the finished product. It's like you know, like I don't know, because you've been in the journey recently, like the US Open just finished, right? And it's mm-hmm. like. Seeing footage of like Daniel Medvedev, just the champion, the person mm-hmm. who won beat Djokovic, right? Amazing. Straight sets. Amazing, my God. Um, and I saw it, and he was actually unbelievable. It was insane to see him play at that level. So witnessing history. But see him and seeing his footage from Russian academies mm-hmm. five years prior, mm-hmm. it's mental. Like, yeah. I don't believe it. It's mental. And the progress that a guy has made. And this is and not. It's all, me- it's all up here. It's mental work as much as it's physical. No, maybe not with tennis. No, but I mean, like I would agree the mental aspect. Though I, I would certainly agree it's a bit more than that, but yeah, I certainly agree. <laughs> agree that there's a lot of mental aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, especially in tennis, you also such you just, a solitary game. No, you also need so many more matches. I think that's mm-hmm. something that people forget. It's like you just gotta play matches. You just gotta play, bro. Yeah, and you, you gotta <laughs> play a lot of them, and in order to play a lot of them, you gotta win. Mm-hmm. So he's in the right moment right now. Hence why he's won. But it's the same like this. You watch Sarah. You know, you watch Baby Mori. Where he said, you watch Clarice, he, 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 you know, and it's like them, they're, they're problem solving mm-hmm. and, and seeing and their them. And comfort adapting. Because, for example, Clarice was really in the zone. Yep. She was really concentrated. She, she was very focused. She knew exactly where she was going to go. Maurice said, you can see her figuring things out as she was going. Also, Sarah uh, looked really uncomfortable in certain areas. And that, to me, is so nice to see because... You, you know you you are you're always met with the confident with the finished product with the ready the star yeah. and uh, how do they f- get to that right That's you forget that there's a journey behind it and these are the videos that I find so inspirational well let us know what you thought about it and perhaps other 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 footage like this from other singers that would be really cool uh, and then goodbye yay